Where is Paul Watson? It's kind of like where is Waldo? The international manhunt continues for the eco-radical accused of attacking whaling vessels and shark fin sh ships. The feds are urging anyone who know of his whereabouts to contact authorities. Brigitte Panorin live in Ottawa with the latest mm. on this global search. And of course, these charges date back several years. Yes. Nonetheless, several countries do want them. Yes, we do have a history here of uh, somebody whose regard for human life is, let's just say, secondary to his regard for whale life. Now, it's, I'm all in favor of protecting the animals, but there are limits, and those limits certainly seem to have been crossed when it comes to the Sea Shepherd. Certainly, they seem to be even too radical for uh, growingly radical groups like even Greenpeace to think that he's way too radical. Listen, there's at least Costa Rica and Japan really wanting uh, to have him around so that they can, uh, you know, on process process some old charges having to do with uh, his ships allegedly ramming other ships and endangering the safety and life of crew members and uh, you know so he was arrested two months ago uh, in the and then he was in jail in Germany he was put out on bail on a three hundred thousand dollar or so uh, bail and he had to um, surrender his passport and he skipped bail and uh, he left without his passport and without that money and uh, we don't know exactly where he is except that his uh, organization now apparently received a message from him which they are of course broadcasting on their website and they are using of course this uh, particular episode to raise some money it's not clear exactly where the money is going they call this save our skipper and uh, it's not clear how much money they've raised so far they won't really talk to us about that uh, but certainly we can expect that they are probably raising some money certainly they do seem to have a support from a lot of the usual suspects in Hollywood and elsewhere. Uh, public authorities, as you can imagine, are not uh, very amused by this. We had a uh, spokesperson for Public Safety Minister, Vic Taves, who put it this way. I can say that Paul Watson and the radical activist group known as the Sea Shepherd Society have consistently shown a willingness to engage in reckless behavior and have shown no regard for Canadian or international law. Anyone with information as to the whereabouts of this individual should contact Interpol immediately. That was a spokesman for Vic Taves. Now you will be amazed to hear that Paul Watson sees things a little differently in a very long, almost rambling letter that he allegedly sent to his website. He explains that this is uh, not at all about justice he says we have confronted the Japanese whalers for eight seasons and we have humiliated them at sea and more importantly we have frustrated their illegal profiteering from the killing of whales in the Southern Ocean whale sanctuary this is not about justice he said it's about revenge it is about a small group of dedicated volunteers opposing an economic superpower and multi-million dollar whale poaching operation in a whale sanctuary, it is about speaking truth to economic and political power. Now, I'm not a psychiatrist expert, uh, Alex, but this sounds a lot to me like some kind of paranoid delusion. Well, I mean, they certainly do believe in their cause. Uh, mm -hmm. So what kind of protection does Canada offer? I mean, obviously, we don't know where he is, but no. I would think being back in Canada would be his safest bet. Well, he was born in Toronto, so he's a Canadian citizen and uh, has rights, uh, you know, as, a, as a, a man who was born here. But at the same time, there is, there is a notice from Interpol as to his whereabouts. He is wanted for certainly talking in discussions with police authorities. So if, if you know where he is, your uh, reasonable and, and responsible action is to contact the authorities, not to give money to his group.